My name is Larissa and in this video I'm going to show you a little bit about music vocabulary and the basics of how to read a music sheet. So this is what a music sheet looks like. So let's go over to the components of a music sheet. Uh, the first thing you have to see is the clef and they are the first thing that comes in a music sheet. So this is the tremble clef and this is the bass clef and they also indicate the peach. It sounds like the fruit but it's not the fruit, it's like this, peach. So they indicate the peach of the note. So the tremble clef it indicates the higher notes and the bass clef indicates the lower notes. Uh, after you have the clefs, you are going to have, you're going to see the accidents of a song. We call accidents the sharps and flats that we might have. So this is the symbol of sharp and this is the symbol of flat. So every time that you have a note that is sharp or flat, it means that you're going to play that note either half tone up or half tone down. So if you have, I have a guitar here to help me. So for example, if you have uh, a C, this is a C, we call it C natural. Uh, if you have a C sharp, a C flat is like this, so C natural, C sharp, C flat. Alright, so right after that we have the key signature, which simply indicates the key of the song. You might have heard musicians uh, before saying like, oh the song is in G or the song is in B or the song is in C. This is the key of the song. The key indicates what notes are going to appear or what notes you are allowed to use so that the song is in harmony. So if you have a song that is in A major, it means that you have the A major scale, the notes that are in the A major scale to use in your song. So the next thing that we have in a music sheet is the time signature and this is also a very important part because if you are playing with a band everyone needs to be in sync so everyone needs to be following the exact same time so the time signature it appears on the sheet with two numbers one on top of another like this this is a two fours uh, time signature. The number on the bottom, it indicates the note value of a whole note in the uh, music sheet. Uh, we're going to see what is a whole note in a minute, but it indicates how long the whole note is going to last and the top number indicates how many beats you have in a bar. Okay. Oh, also, bars. So the bars is a segment of the time signature uh, and there are a limited number of notes that you can have in a bar because if you have like a four note bar, you have... This is how many beats you can have in your bar. So now let's go over to the note relation. It is very important to know how the note relation works because this is how you are going to know uh, the exact beats that you have to do in your song. And it changes the time. So, we call them note relations because the length that they are played it's not standard. Um, a quarter note is not, it's not always going to last 
the same in every song. It always changes according to the time signature. So you have to know the time signature to know how long your notes are going to last in that specific song. So, this is a small drawing that can help you understand note relations. So, so the first one, the one that we have there, it's a simple, uh, a simple circle with nothing filling in. That is a whole note. Um, so, if you have a, a four-fourth time signature, it means that your whole note is going to last four beats. So, if you have four-four, is going to be, and you have a whole note in A, it's going to be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four because it's going to last the whole bar. Right after that, we have the half note, which lasts half the whole note. So, uh, in the same example, 4 4 times signature is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we have the quarter note, um, and the quarter note is half the half note. So the quarter note, is, I think this one is like the most common that we see in music sheets. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then this is where it gets crazy because then it starts getting so fast. So we have, after the quarter note, we have the eighth note. So it is one, two, Note. So, one, two, three, four, quarter, one, two, three, four. This is the eighth note. And then we have the sixteenth note, which I don't even think that I can actually do it. Let me try. And you have notes faster than that, but we're not gonna t we're not gonna work with them. So basically, this is what you have to know to read a music sheet. Uh, depending on the song that you are trying to read, of course, there's going to be more complicated uh, things, more advanced things. But those are the basics because this is the thing. Every music sheet. Uh, if it's a basic song or if it's a more complicated song, they all going to have those same elements. So start from there and then go um, try to learn the harder stuff. So the parts are the pentagrams, you have the claps, the tremble and the bass, uh, sharp and flat notes, half note, half tone up, half tone down. Uh, the key signature to know what notes you're going to use, to know what scale you are going to base your song on, uh, the time signature to know how fast you're going, and the note relation so that you know how long each note in your music sheet is going to last. So this is it guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope this was very useful for you and go ahead and learn more music because music makes the people come together